Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here, 64 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 8 and what we need to do is we need to figure out what value for x can we plug in to make this statement true, okay? So this x finds itself inside a square root and is an exponent. So we need to keep that in mind when we try to solve for this. So let's go ahead and solve. So first thing that comes to mind when looking at this is the 64 and 8. Do these 64 and 8 have a relation with one another? Yes. And the relation is that 64, as a matter of fact, is equal to 8 squared, right? Because 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So we can rewrite 64 as 8 squared to the power of 2x plus 1. Oh, sorry, not 2x plus 1, but simply x plus 1. This exponent of x plus 1 stays the same, and this 64 turns into 8 squared, and this is equal to 8, okay? So now, there is a certain exponent rule that states that if we have a to the power of b to the power of c, this is equal to a to the power of b times c. So if we have two exponents, so an exponent and then a power, so a to the power of b to the power of c, this power is equal to we have these two exponents here. It's the same thing as if these two exponents get multiplied by one another. So in this case, we can consider our b to be our 2 and our c to be our square root of x plus 1. So 8 squared to the x square root of x plus 1 is equal to 8 times 2 to the square root of x plus 1. Okay? And this is equal to. 8. Okay. So now we have the same bases, right? So 8 and 8. They're the same bases, right? So that means that the exponents have to be the same, okay? So what is the exponent? So we know we have the exponent here with the variable to the square root of x plus 1. But what is the exponent of 8 with no exponent? Well, when you don't see exponent, that means that the exponent is actually, in matter of fact, just 1, because it's 1 times the number of itself. We have 1 8. 1 8 here, okay? So now, since we have the same bases here, what we can do now is we can drop the bases, and this equation simply becomes 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 1, okay? And now we can use algebra to solve for this problem. So we want to get x by itself, so let's divide 2 first things. And now we have that square root of x plus 1 is equal to 1 half, okay? And now if we want to get x by itself, we need to square the left side to get rid of the square root, right? Because square and square root cancel each other out. So since we square the left side, we square the right side. And now I'm going to move this to the top here. So the square root and the square cancel out. So we have x plus 1 is equal to 1 half squared. So whenever we square a fraction, we just square the numerator by itself and the denominator by itself. So 1 squared, the numerator, is simply just 1, right? 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And 2 squared is 4, right? So we got that x plus 1 is equal to 1 fourth. And now to get solve for x, we subtract by 1. So we get that x is, so now what is 1 fourth minus 1? Well, for this, let's make a number line, okay? 0 here, I put 1 fourth here, and now let's put a negative 1 here, and let's split it by 4. So we'll have a negative 2 fourths, negative 3 fourths, and negative 1 fourth. So if we have negative 1 fourth, and we subtract by 1, 1 is equal to 4 fourths, right? So let's just go 4 1 fourth to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And that leaves us at negative 3 fourths, okay? So we got that our answer is negative 3 fourths. But the final thing that we should always do is we should plug it in and check to make sure that it's the right answer. So, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So if we plug in negative 3 fourths for x, we got 64 to the power of negative 3 fourths plus 1, our square root of negative 3 fourths plus 1, excuse me, is equal to 8. And negative 3 fourths plus 1 is the same as 1 minus negative 3 fourths, right? 
which is equal to one fourth is equal to eight and then 64 to so the square root of one fourth. Oh, sorry, let me rewrite that. What is the square root of one fourth? Well, remember we did one squared, one half squared is equal to one fourth. So that means that one fourth square root of one fourth would be the reverse of that. So it'd be equal to one half. And that is equal to eight. Now, finally, what is 64 to the one half? Well, what does it mean have a power to the one half? That means that we are having, we are going to root it. And we are going to root, our root value will be the denominator here. So this is a two here. And this is the same thing as a normal square root. And, and square root of 64 is equal to eight. Okay. So we check this correctly. So that means that our value of negative three fourths for X is our correct value. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.